Today we are going to be looking at a piece of kit called an ophthalmoscope and this is used to have a look inside your eye. So we can actually shine a light through your pupil and we can look at the retina at the back of your eye. It's a super time for individuals looking at the field of biomechanical or biomedical engineering. With the advance of technology, a better understanding of the human anatomy, we can start to use appliance of engineering techniques to better care for our patients. So this is going to be classed as one of the medical devices that somebody like yourself as a medical engineer would end up developing and manufacturing. The programme covers a wide range of modules, starting from anatomy and physiology, engineering mathematics, and specific core biomedical modules on biomechanics, biomaterials, medical devices management, and by the time you're going to be graduating with us, we upscale your knowledge to work you in the capacity of managers. So we're just going to do normal squats from there. If you chose to come and work for an organisation like myself that's actually in the commercialisation of medical devices, a biomechanical engineer, a biomechanic specialist would be going through the full elements from design, patenting, regulatory approval, working with patients and understanding if the end result of that product justifies the investment. The Maya is connected to a prosthetic and these chips are connected via Bluetooth to the computer. That way it records the motion of the arm in response to the movement of the muscles and controls the movement of the prosthetic itself. As a biomedical engineer, you'll be working very closely with clinicians, patients and computer scientists to solve real-life problems, working on projects from concept all the way to the manufacturing of that product. You'll be expected to combine your creativity and innovation with the latest technology to produce products that would help patients and improve their lives. Mm -hmm.